Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we're going to be using the RX11 flush. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Another day, another failed LG compressor. So while we're in the process of doing this, and yes, we're doing it outside because they don't want to shut off the smoke alarms. Anyways, we're going to be using the RX11 flush. So we had a compressor burnout, and we're going to flush this through the system, use this in retrofits and after compressor burnouts, and this is our canister and this is the injection valve it comes with and i actually use this right here to connect to my nitro tank and like blow out drains and stuff with it honestly but this is the also the valve for this kit all right so it says r11 flush is designed to quickly and easily flush contaminants from air conditioning and refrigeration systems and line sets it's ideal for a flushing after a compressor burnout during a refrigerant retrofit or at a new system installation formulated as a unique solvent r11 flush is an azeotropic cleaner that is fast acting fast evaporating compatible with system components non-flammable and non-corrosive let's get to it we're not going to pass it through the compressor as we have everything out right so we have low side open here high side open here so we're gonna want to flush this through the line set through the older piping system here we're gonna start by putting our injection valve here this is used for RX 11 flush and RX acid scavenger I'm just gonna put the injection valve onto our canister here Got the canister connected to the injection valve with a refrigerant hose that I don't use. You don't want to be mixing this stuff. And on the other side, I have this valve handle. So we're going to push through one side and it should come out through the other. And we're going to put like a garbage bag underneath something to catch uh, the solution. All right, so we're going to flush this out 20 to 30 seconds on each end. Make sure that thing doesn't spray on you. Oh, you're good. How the copper pipe changed color. Look how much black stuff came out of here. This is bad. Definitely got to flush out this system. And this is why you do that. Alright. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. coming out yep. all right it's coming out let's flush out these lines it's gonna flush it out the other side now it's clear coming out of there now yeah it's clear coming out that's good stuff is real cold yeah, yeah go ahead let's open up the tank now we're gonna flush this line set with uh, some nitrogen make sure we get everything out of there and let's go grab a bag and catch any other content, those contents as well. This pipe is open here, so I'm just gonna put my finger over it so that it can really push through the high side. Now I'm gonna open this up. It's coming out. Yep. Yeah, a little bit is coming out. <laughs> they say you don't wanna go over 125 PSI right about there. Now let's switch over to the other side. You flush this thing out with the RX-11, Nitro, and you're good to complete your job. Okay? All right, ready when you are. Right, I'm gonna hold this line, flush this thing. Pushing out at 100 PSI. There you have it. That's how you use the RX11 flush kit by UK Lawn or New Caligon, however you say it. Leave a comment below on how you pronounce it. Now you're ready to get that compressor in there in that crazy tight space. Alright, alright. 
got the new compressor in. Now we're gonna pressurize it and check for any leaks. But that's how you're gonna flush the system. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.